Right, so this video is completely inspired out of my outrage at what I've just read in the news today. Our current, hopefully not much longer, Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, being um, photographed in a car, chauffeur-driven car by the way, without a face mask on. Come on! We've all followed your advice. We all do every day, every single fucking day. I, was, I missed my train the other day because it was my fault. I did forget my mask. I didn't flout the law, did I? I didn't get on and say, oh, it's all right, Matt Hancock doesn't wear one, did I? No, I went back and was late. I hate being late, by the way. Sorry about that, friend. Um, so, yes, but it's just my understanding and inter interpretation, sorry, of the whole dire situation and the way in which the Conservative government, I know I didn't dislike Boris Johnson, I don't vote Conservative, never have done, never will, but I vote for the Green Party, but that's for many, many, many reasons, good ones, but also because in my ward it's Jess Phillips, I know, rock and a hard place. So basically, I remember when there, I think it was January, February time, 11 reported cases of COVID in this country. How the fuck did it escalate to this? How? How? By your mismanagement, by not listening, by not following scientific advice, by deflecting questions that you can't even answer. You just can't even answer. You just, you just don't care. You've got no regard, no feeling for people who have to queue up in food banks now. I hope you donate, by the way, because you can goddamn afford it. Like May said, there is no magic money tree. I do realise that. I'm not that naive. But where does it go? These people work goddamn hard to produce their taxes. Where does it all go? I wish you could produce results. I really, really do. I wish this could all stop. I also hope you get to see this video. I am opinionated and I don't give a goddamn shit because that's how I was brought up. I was brought up within a household that was very political minded. And uh, yeah, my dad was a local councillor and leader of the local, um, local uh, what do you call it, council for the Labour Party. Sorry, Dad, I don't vote Labour anymore. I became quite disillusioned with them some time ago too. Um, so yeah, just saying, just saying, pull your socks up, get it together before you get booted out.